Hey everybody, Steve Bazet. Welcome back to The Build Show. We're out here at the Vineyard Passive House. And today we're gonna to talk about a very specific detail. In a lot of houses, we have single story portions of the house where they meet the second two story portions of the house. And it's where that two story and first story meet where we really have to pay attention to the detail to maintain air barrier continuity. Now, if you remember out here, we're using zip sheathing as our air barrier on the lid of the first floor. But eventually we're gonna run into that second story wall and we need to be able to transition that. So what you're looking at here is that second story wall. And we have that zip sheathing, and notice it comes all the way down to that LVL beam there that frames basically the outer edge of the floor on the second floor. And then our zip sheathing comes in and is neatly attached to the bottom of that LVL. So basically, our air barrier goes up the exterior wall, across the ceiling here, but then it makes the transition to the two-story wall here and goes up through that second floor, and then it would repeat that transition above the wall and across the ceiling on the second floor upstairs. So basically, it's like I always talk about. You build the green box and then attach all the unconditioned spaces. In this case here, it's the vented attic assembly gets attached to that green box. So there's our green box continuity coming down the wall, across the ceiling, down the exterior wall. Let's jump back to the studio. I'll break out some of the building sections, some of the details. We'll talk about this in detail there. Big Red will join us and uh, we'll learn a little bit more about air barriers. I'll see you back at the studio. Hey everybody. So welcome back to the studio. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Again, I can't stress enough. It's always a great time going out seeing my buddy Farley, visiting the vineyard checking out his passive house that he's building. Um, Farley's details are impeccable. Execution, he does a great job, great guy to work with. Um, some exciting stuff happening out there. But I broke out a bunch of uh, drawings here, kind of give us some orientation and then a quick look at the detail. Of course, our good friend Big Red is here. So let's dive in. All right, so I have a number of drawings here. Let's throw these up and we'll just blow through them. Um, I created a uh, partial elevation image here because I just wanted to explain where we are in a building. So here you can see two-story wall, you know, second, first floor is in there. We have this one-story roof system that comes crashing into it and obviously the second-story roof system. But what we really care about is what's happening to our air barrier in this ceiling and what how do we connect it to that wall and then how do we connect it to that ceiling so we maintain that continuity right that's our concern that's the place we're talking about today we're down in that room standing there looking up so that'll give you the exterior orientation this here is a quick building section that uh also, uh, let me just cheat that up just a little bit. This gives you the uh, orientation of where, again, that detail is. So here's that double stud wall on the exterior. Here's that sheathing coming down, which is our primary air barrier. Notice it goes all the way down to the LVL, and then we connect it to that sheathing in the ceiling. And then we tape it there. And then that turns the corner there and connects up at our system up there, but we get that continuity again across the system. But let's take a look at that detail a little more closely. So here's that detail. Let's get that to register. So when we looked up, you saw we had the three LVLs. Those are basically flying from exterior wall to exterior wall to help carry the bearing point of the second floor exterior wall. And remember, it is a double wall system that we're doing, but the exterior wall is the one with bearing. The interior wall just kind of pads it out 
for insulation. So there's that two by four. That's a 12 inch wall, five and a half, three and a half, and three inches inside there. We got our floor sheathing coming in here. Of course, we'll have a floor finish and some kind of baseboard to finish that out. But notice this exterior wall is insulated and it has the zip sheathing coming. And the zip sheathing doesn't stop at the top of the, the roof here and get framed into that. It maintains the closure of that wall. And not only does it not stop at the bottom plate, that closure runs all the way down to the bottom of the LBL. So remember my uh, terms of outside, inside. And remember how I always said, it is that simple. Here, even though we're in the attic, it's a vented attic. We are outside. Here, we're in the room, it's conditioned space. Inside, our air barrier, that's our main red line. And guess what? We're inside. And that point of delineation is that red line right there. So you're either outside or you're inside. Remember, it's not rocket science, it's building science. But because this is outside and this is a single story versus two story, we have a secondary inside. So we're inside here. All right, this is the room below that roof. So inside, our inside kind of does the L shape around that roof which is the one-story roof that comes crashing into that two-story wall. And Farley chose to run 7 16 zip across his ceiling. So we put that on top of the top plate, set the trusses on top of that, and that set the bottom of that 7 16 air barrier flush with the bottom of the LVL. And why would we do that? Because we sealed that 7 16 to the side of the LVL, and then we just came in here and taped that joint at the bottom. And what did that provide? You guys know it by now. Some of my favorite words coming out today. Continuity, right? Air barrier. continuity. And uh, for those that uh, want to challenge Farley's talents, it's uh, not uncommon for Farley to be at, you know, 0.45 or better for air tightness, well with under um, the passive house standard. But we have that 7 16 turns the corner, saw that in the video and some of those photos. And then we just simply taped it. It is that simple. It's building science, not rocket science. Remember, you're either inside or you're outside. Right? It is that simple. Red line test right there. Big red. Giving it to you live. Red line test. Air barrier continuity. All right. So we're done there. I'm not saying it again tonight. I'm tired. I'm cranky. I want to go to bed. So you're not getting it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that video. Continuity is always the key. It's one of my favorite words when it comes to building science. Uh, if you're looking for more, you can find me on Instagram. Steve Basic Architect. Posting stuff every day. Got all kinds of great content out there. Go check it out. Um, check out my daughter. She works with me. Um, Alexandra Bazek, she's on Instagram too, posting all kinds of good stuff. Find uh, me and my good friends Jake and Peter Yost on the Unbuild It podcast, where we take some complex building science concepts, we break them down, make them really simple, and we tell jokes while doing it. So that's always a treat. Um, and of course, there's the Build Show Network. Got my good friends Matt, Jake, Wade. Brent, all these guys, tearing it up. Great information. Free information. Yeah, I said free information. Free good 
information. So go check out those videos. But before you watch theirs, you got to watch mine six times, right? That's the science behind it. At minimum of six views before you retain all the information in the video. I'm just going, going by the science, man. So, and women. So, go check it out. Until next time, long live our buildings.